Mountains Live 15 Dollar Friday is back. Um, I just really like this like live situation. I don't, I don't know why I like it so much. Uh, if you watched last week, you will know why I picked this wine. Um, last week I had a little debacle with a corked bottle of wine, uh, which presented in, or I should say, um, turned into a, a lesson on how to detect TCA. So if you haven't watched that, please, by all means, go and do that. I can't link here, like right now in this live video, but I'll make sure to do it post after the fact. Um, so in any case, I saw this wine and I was like, perfect. This is going to be just the thing I need to to really just erase the memories of corked wine that I had last week. Uh, and then on top of that, I felt like this week was really dominated by news, portraying Napa Valley as this place where like nothing cool is happening, everybody is in it for the money. Um, and and with the James Conaway novel coming out, if you haven't read some of the articles that have come out, it's just been really negative and I'm, I'm just kind of, um, I haven't totally formulated my my full opinion, but I was like, you know what? There are really cool people doing really cool things that care about the vines and care about viticulture and care about Napa Valley. And I think this is a perfect example of um, of what I'm talking about. So $15 Friday, it's a little bit of a cheat, guys, because this is technically not $15. Um, this is actually $18.99, but it's a one liter bottle. So you're getting a little bit more juice for your money um and this is Mathiasin. so this is this is one of my favorite vintners and viticulturalists napa valley if you are unfamiliar with Mathiasin, steve and jill Mathiasin, um they are sort of renegades in california they they were the first to um i should say the first they were really some of the pioneers to start implementing organic sustainable biodynamic farming uh, at a very high level um so steve was a consultant for uh, Araljo for Hall Wines for Stag's Leap Cellar and he really is the guy that everybody goes to for organic farming farming practices when they want to do really great beautiful um, powerful rich wines but they don't want the sugars there he's the guy they talk to um, so Steve started doing that he wrote uh, I think he actually wrote the book on sustainable practices farming practices in Napa Valley and in California um, and now he's gone on to have a pretty incredible career. He's got his own label called Mathiasin. He was named best winemaker by San Francisco Chronicle in like 2006, 2008 or something. Um, and then he's also been a five-time nominee for James Beard Award for Outstanding Wine Spirits or Beverage Professionals. So the guys definitely got credentials and I'm pretty excited about this wine because this, as you may notice, does not have a cork. It is a crown cap. So that means it's the same cap that you would see on like a bottle of beer or a bottle of water, you just pop right off and there it goes. Um, and this is a wine that he made intentionally uh, accessible to uh, a wider audience in the liter bottle, something very different, very unusual. This is the Tondu 2016 blend of red wines. He makes a red and a white from this. This is actually not coming from, uh, the fruit's not coming from Napa Valley. It is being made in Napa Valley. The fruit is actually from Yolo County, uh, which is just about, I don't know, 50 miles due east of here. Um, a more up and coming area. Obviously the grapes are a little bit cheaper, which is why he's able to pass on um, that price to the consumer. So I happened to be at Whole Foods yesterday and shout out to the guy who helped me. I'm really sorry that I, I don't remember your name, but you were incredibly helpful. So thank you. I actually picked two wines um, that I'll be using for $15 Friday in the future from you. So thank you very much to the Whole Foods and Napa gentleman who helped me out with this yesterday. Um, anyway, let's get into it. It's going to be very easy this time because I think all I need to do is pop this. Hopefully it it will come off very easily. This is, uh, as I mentioned, a red blend. Oh, yes, I love this. That means the wine's not gonna be cork. Mm, it smells good. Um, this is a red blend. This is Aglianico, Montepulciano, and Barbera, all coming from YOLO. Uh, I think this wine is probably gonna be best with a little bit of a chill. Um, it does indicate that maybe it's gonna wanna chill, and uh, this is only 11.7% alcohol. See, check it out. Um, bottled by Matthias in here in Napa Valley. So let's taste this wine. I'm really, really excited. Um, if you don't have a Whole Foods near you or if your Whole Foods doesn't carry this, it is available on wine.com. It is $19.99 on wine.com. Um, and of course, always, if you are not part of the stewardship program, I highly, highly recommend so light bodied red. I'm so excited to try this. I'm really excited for this. I think, um, sorry if this shakes a little bit, my floors are never stable. Um, I think this is probably going to be my summer red. 
I'm really fingers crossed on this. I love the format of this bottle. I love the fact that it's a crown cap. It makes it so easy for, to like bring with you to picnics. Um, and, and the low alcohol is obviously um, a big plus as well. Also, I should mention um, that there is no added sulfur and there is no filtration of this wine. So a less um, manipulated wine, a more organic wine, obviously with Matthias and farming organically. Um, this is a wine for those of you who are concerned about things like that, who don't like the addition of sulfites, uh, or I should say sulfur. This does contain sulfites, um, a very small amount of them. All wines contain sulfites. Um, this will be right up your alley. So let's get into the wine. Oh, it's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, this is rich on the nose, but it's kind of brambly. It has that kind of... Um, like raspberry bush, it's got that strawberry, really fresh strawberry, vibrant nose. It's just got a really playful, floral, mm, strawberry, lavender fields kind of nose. I think um, this is, like I said, this is gonna be best with the chill. This is not a wine that you're you're gonna wanna age. It's not really um, a wine that should sit in your storage for a long time. Um, with the crown cap and with it not having sulfur, this is only gonna last a certain amount of time, so. Mm. I just realized I forgot a spit cup, but that's okay. Yes, I love this. Okay, mm. yes, okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Really cranberry, and I had tried this, I tried the 15 um, last year just to uh, to give it a whirl and the 16 really is taking it to another level. Awesome, I'm so excited. Really bright, very cranberry, a lot more cranberry, a lot more sour fruit on the nose. Um, Matthias and is notorious for picking a little bit on, um, I wouldn't say the early side, but he's definitely not picking at crazy high levels of sugar. So um, your average Napa Cabernet is being harvested at about 28 degrees bricks. This is probably down at like 22, 21. Um, this is 11.7% alcohol. So very, very light, very tart, um, a little bit high acid, and like I expected, perfect with a chill. I'm so excited. Mm. Mm. Really zippy, really clean, light bodied. Think of this as like a, like a Cru Beaujolais but with a little bit less texture, a little bit more of that softness of like a Pinot from Sonoma, um, a little bit more uh, lightness to it. It's a little flirty, it's a little bit fun, it's a little fresh. It's just got a, a like a touch of effervescence to it. Um, mm, I'm so excited. This is definitely gonna be like my summer sipper. I'm gonna have this just kind of stocked, ready to go and ready to pull this crown cap off. Mm. Bright, zippy, fun, clean, easy. Oh man, now you can like talk to me on YouTube while I'm doing this live. I just missed it. I'm sorry, whoever just commented. Um, this is so cool. This is why I like the live stuff. It's really fun. Um, bright, fun, zippy, easy, playful. Um, serve it with your barbecue. Serve it with whatever the heck you want. Except for the hot dog. That would be delicious with a hot dog. It's got so much acid and it will cut through that fat. Um, and it's kind of easy going, very playful. I would be curious to try the white wine version of this as well. I bet it's delicious. Um, what else? Guys, this, if you're not buying this, like to just have on the off chance that you've got company that you just want to pull something out for, um, you're making a big mistake because this is a really great wine to just have, just have stocked in your fridge, ready to go, grab a white, grab a red. Um, and it's easy and it's clean and it's not going to be corked, which is always uh, part of the problem with when you buy wine. Is it going to be corked? Is it not going to be corked? Um, and why I've often advocated for alternative closures like screw top. I actually never had um, a still wine out of with a crown cap, but it seems to work pretty well to me. Um, other than that, guys, I think this is a great example of wine that you should definitely have for the spring, for the summer. Um, easy to drink. I could actually even see this as being a contender for, I know it's a long way ahead, but a contender for Thanksgiving wine. Uh, this is an easy drinker that you don't even need to serve in a wine glass. I'd be totally fine with serving them in the smaller um, tumblers that I sometimes serve my wine out of when I've got lots and lots of guests and I don't have enough space to do all the dishes for everyone. So um, a wine that I could definitely serve in like a tumbler, serve in a wine glass. It's easy drinking, it's clean. How long does the wine last in the refrigerator unopened? I don't know, Tatiana. Um, 
I will tell you what, I'll put a cork in it and I'll let you know and uh, post it up on Instagram and do a little follow up. I don't know. Um, it's got acid for days. So my guess is a pretty long time. I think I've got to look at the top. I think the repour will fit in here. I don't see why it wouldn't. That's kind of a one size fits all kind of thing. Um, so I think with the repour stopper, which are like three bucks, I don't see an issue why it wouldn't last for several days. I, I don't even think if you just put like regular cork or some sort of stopper, definitely put something on top of it um, to keep oxygen from getting in there. But it's got a lot of acid. Um, I think that would help it to stay fresh. When you're trying to keep wines fresh, make sure you're keeping them away from um, away from light and in your refrigerator. You are so welcome, Kurt. Um, and uh, keep it away from heat. You know, oxygen, uh, ox excuse me, um, spoilage will happen faster if you let it uh, sit out in the warmth. Um, I'll be here, guys. Happy Friday. It's $15 Friday. And I think this is going to be great for your weekend. If you can't, like I said, if you can't find it at Whole Foods, it's on wine.com. And um, hopefully I'll be able to open some wines with quirks in them again soon. But I was a little bit scarred for a moment. Anyway, I'll be back next week. Um, in the meantime, I should have that Gary Vaynerchuk Wine Club video out this weekend. So stay tuned for that. I think you'll be very excited. And uh, I think you'll be very pleased. I think that was a, it was a, a positive experience that I had. And I'm very excited to share with you. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked this live video, make sure you're smashing that like button so other people um, know that you liked it and so that I know that you liked it because I really love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you for those of you who commented and thank you for those of you who tuned in. This is so very exciting. Um, guys, check in with me on Instagram. I'm going to post some more stuff about this wine and I will let you know how it does uh, over the course of the next few days. So follow me at Sambivant. I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful weekend and um, cheers to you all. Bye. How do I end this darn thing? Let's try that.